All right, this is Andrew Jolly with Joda Home Inspections. Today is January 22nd, 2021, and we're doing a sewer scope. We're at 1290 Oak Ridge Drive in, um, I forget where we're at, North Salt Lake, I think. Centerfield. Um, so we've got the camera pushed out 127 feet and we're hitting a root. That's what you're seeing on the screen. Uh, I would recommend having this, uh, what looks like a root, cleaned out, probably hydro jetted out, and that way it's going to increase the size of the line back to a normal size so that it's less likely for things to get caught on it and back up. The way that it is now, it makes it a lot easier for waste to get caught on that root, and that could lead to a backup. Uh, it also prevents me from getting my camera all the way down the sewer line and inspecting all the line. And so when you have it cleaned, you want to have the rest of the line clean or inspected as well with the camera. And a lot of companies will include a scope if you get it hydro jetted. This looks like gravel cement line. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see how it looks like gravel. Now pay close attention to these joints. Um, looks like you have a little bit of an offset on the right hand side. These joints over time can slip a little bit and they can create offsets which can catch debris. Doesn't look like anything's caught on that. Alright, so you have something feeding into your line. It kind of looks like a possible shared line. Uh, super uncommon. It's, it's possible since you have the shared driveway that you also have a shared sewer line. Um, I would inquire with the sellers to see if that's a possibility. It also it also could just be a, a clean out, but typically clean outs go out through the top and not so much through the side. Uh, another little bit of a slipped joint right here. I'm not seeing any standing water, so that indicates that you have proper grade. I would say this is a, a longer than average line. Most lines that I see are, are around 100 feet and I got, I think it was 126 feet or so and still wasn't to the end. A little bit of an offset there. You can see as I, if I slowly push my camera, kind of get stuck on it before it pops over. Especially on the left side, you can see there's a little more of a lip. It's always a good sign when you don't have debris that's actively getting stuck on it. Alright, we just transitioned back to ABS. This is what's inside your house.
All right, very good. So just to recap, you do have a large, what looks like a root in the line. I'd recommend having that cleaned out. You do have some joints that look like they've separated a little bit and created offsets. That's something that potentially could catch debris and create a backup. Uh, they also can be difficult to really repair permanently because to fix them you have to dig them up. Uh, I'd recommend having this line cleaned out to remove that root and then have the rest of the line scoped at that time. I would also try to find out if this is a shared line or not. That's something you might need to research with the city. Um, maybe ask a, the drain company when they come to clean it their opinion. Um, I'm going to end this recording now.